usually with my team and I, when we want to put out a new beer, we look at our current portfolio, you know, what beers we're brewing and what beers we're not brewing. We also look at what's popular in the market, and then sometimes we'll even experiment with stuff here in this tap room. We'll put, you know, one keg of something unique and special on it that gets really good feedback. You know, we might look to commercialize it. That was actually sort of the genesis of our peanut butter ring cloud, which is our newest beer. We did some fiddle around with some test batches here at the brewery and people went crazy for it. So we will have a Russian Imperial Stout out, uh, called, it's called Reverie. Uh, it will be out in cans uh, in time for Thanksgiving, hopefully. And uh, we'll probably bring back our chocolate oyster stout. And we have some other fun ideas in plan for, for next year. What's the purpose of filtering beer? This stuff and scrape it off. This stuff is called curling. It uh, coats these plates. That's what it uh, basically does all the filtering. It pulls out like your yeast and your proteins. It aids in like clarity, but you mainly do it for uh, shelf stability. We um, launched the company with three core styles, Barstool, American Golden Ale, uh, Backyard IPA, which is our best selling beer, our, essentially our flagship, and then Rain Cloud Robust Porter. Uh, and what was great about those three styles is you get a little bit of variation. You know, you've got a, kind of a lighter beer in the Golden Ale, you've got a nice hoppy uh, IPA, which is very popular as, as our flagship, and then uh, something for folks that love uh, darker beer uh, in Rain Cloud. Uh, we do the bulk of our business in Rhode Island, followed by Massachusetts, then Connecticut, New Hampshire, uh, Vermont, and then Maine, where we literally launched at the end of last week. So it's a little early to know how that's going. We've grown into uh, a New England brewery, you know, in terms of our regional footprint, and we want to see that footprint continue to expand. Uh, one day we, we want to become a, a national brand, a household name, but we want to be smart about how we grow and just have kind of a nice, steady, you know, controllable, predictable growth stream. What's happening with Rhode Island beer right now is fantastic, man. It's great. We have, a, I, I think, a wonderful community here in the Rhode Island brewing scene. You know, there's actually the Rhode Island Brewers Guild, of which uh, you know, Foolproof is a member. So this is our Barstool Golden Ale. This is our, our lightest beer. It's our lowest alcohol beer, four and a half percent. The recipe is based off a of Czech Pilsner, but rather than ferment it as a lager, we ferment it as an ale, a little bit cooler. And it has this like nice clean drinkability to it. It's the kind of beer you finish one of them and you're ready to have another. So this is our Backyard IPA. It's our best selling beer. It's a really light, approachable India Pale Ale, 6% uh, alcohol. The name is Backyard. That pronunciation is correct. It's our New England barbecue beer. So we love the idea of heading out into your backyard and you know, flipping some burgers, enjoying a couple cans. Next up is uh, my personal favorite. It's our farmhouse sale called LFU, which is short for La Ferme Ben. It's a lot e easier just to say LFU. It's French for the urban farm and, and it's a French saison. The experience we were trying to capture with this beer was like the end of a hard work day uh, or a hard work week. It's a little bit higher in alcohol, 7.8%. It's got some really nice Belgian complexity to, complexity to it. It's got notes of pepper, lemon, clove, you know, hints of banana. So there's a lot going on with this beer. It's incredibly refreshing, particularly on a, a warm summer day. After that is uh, something for the Hopheads. It's our King of the Yard, the royal big brother of our best-selling Backyard IPA. Uh, very different beer though. Uh, it just, you know, has the namesake, but it is an uh, Imperial Pale uh, IPA, uh, also known as a double IPA. Uh, higher alcohol, 8.5. Different hops in this one. It's got some New Zealand and uh, very, kind of fruity, pungent American hops in there as well. The next beer up is uh, our, our sort of end of summer, beginning of fall beer. It's called Oktoberfest, not to be confused with Oktoberfest. It's actually an ale, not a lager, but uh, again, fermented a little bit cooler, give it a nice clean, multi-profile, some American hops, um, finishing touch there. On the end here is, is our newest beer, our Rain Cloud Robust Porter with peanut butter in it. We call it Peanut Butter Rain Cloud. It's got nice notes of peanut butter, uh, a lot of peanut butter aroma up front, and it hits you with a little bit of taste dries out into that porter profile, and then you get a little hint of peanut butter at the end. And it's, it's a variation of our very popular rain cloud robust porter.